Hey, good evening guys and gals. This is Brad Varnell and the Infinite Crypto YouTube channel. Tonight I am coming at you from Orlando, Florida. Been having a little bit of fun with my uh, family. My 14 year old son's getting ready to turn 15. And so we are hanging out here in a, a nice little uh, townhouse condominium setup, getting ready to go do some Disney World and Universal, uh, Universal Studios Orlando and having some fun, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, anybody that's been watching the crypto market for the last couple of days can see that it hasn't been headed in the direction that we would like for it to be heading. Uh, but folks, that's okay. It's due. I know I keep saying that. And uh, folks, I do want you to know that I'm following my own advice. I'm still picking stuff up. One of the things that I wanted to talk about real quick and you know, just kind of being real with you is when everything was going up over the last few months, I didn't cash out as much as maybe I should have. I really believe that we are gonna continue having some massive momentum upwards. And so I left 99.5% of my net worth in crypto. So obviously I've taken a big hit over this last month and a half. And it's not a lot of fun for me if I had to do it all over again. I would have definitely cashed out fifty or a hundred thousand dollars and kept it on the sidelines so that I had the ability to a pay for all of my life without having to sell any crypto and b have some capital to deploy at some of these rock bottom prices or what I consider to be fairly low prices. I remember my buddy telling me that he had gotten into polka dot at around six dollars, and at the time it was around thirty. And then I watched it run all the way up to 40, closing it on 50. And I was thinking, oh, man, I really wish I could have got me some $6 dot. And uh, now you have an opportunity to get it at 12. It was $11 and change yesterday. But $12 dot, I think, is, is a bargain. Now, yeah, the market has surprised me before, and it might surprise me again. Can it definitely it could take another dip? Some people are saying that we might see Bitcoin crash down into the mid to low 20s you know if bitcoin goes down to 24,000 then we're probably going to see some lower prices on some of the other stuff but the fact of the matter is whether you buy polka dot at 12 or you buy it at 8 you're going to make money on it in the long term and don't get me wrong if i had a crystal ball i would tell you wait hold off get it at 12 uh, get it at 8 but i also don't want you to wait around with your money on the sidelines sitting there and and then now it's 14 and then it's 16 and then it's 20 and then it's 24 and you come and say oh man i never bought any polka dot because it never got low enough folks right now just about every crypto especially in the top 25 your polka dot your cardano uh the ren uh thor chain rune um bitcoin and ethereum i mean ethereum is still an amazing token to pick up sometimes i hesitate to recommend it because it's so much per token but at 18 1900 dollars it's probably going to go up to six, eight, ten thousand dollars by the end of the year, in my, you know, in in my opinion and what I've been watching. Obviously, I I'm not, you know, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know for sure exactly what's going to happen. But my point is, folks, if you have cash sitting on the sidelines, I definitely highly recommend starting to deploy some of it. Um, if you don't have any cash sitting on the sidelines, now would be a good time to figure out how to get some extra money injected into your life. How you can work a few hours overtime, how you could get a second job, how you could Uber in the evening. Um, there's so many ways to create wealth. And the fact of the matter is, folks, one of the things that I found, that most of the time your wealth will not be created from your 40 hour a week job. So if you've just been struggling, getting by, just barely making a living the last five or 10 years with your job, you're probably not going to get enough income or enough investment money out of that, that bucket. Your, your job bucket is paying for your life, probably not going to be able to pull enough out of it to really get significant money into this crypto market in time to get some of these huge gains. So folks, now is the time to get creative. Have a garage sale. If you've got a second or third vehicle that you don't really use all that much and you've been thinking about selling it and you can get three, four, five, seven, eight thousand dollars for that vehicle, do it. I don't ever recommend borrowing money to get crypto, but I do recommend getting creative. If you can sell something, especially if it's something that you can buy back, like even right now, if you had a car that's worth 15, 20 grand and you like it, it's a good car, but it's one of it's a car that if you sold it right now, 
and you turn that 15 or 20 grand into 100 or 2 or 500,000 that then you could go buy a car that you eat, that you like even more and you could live without that $15,000 car I would consider selling it if I was you you know I talk around, I just you know mentioned that if I had a hundred thousand dollars sitting on the sidelines it would be great because I'd be able to live my life and be going on these trips and doing the things that I'm doing without having to spend any crypto where right now every time you know something comes up I'm selling a little bit of crypto selling a little bit here a little bit there decided last second to uh, bring my uh, son's girlfriend along on this trip. So air t air airfare and all of that kind of stuff, extra couple of thousand dollars right at the end. And I'm glad that I have the freedom to be able to do that. But it was a decision, you know, hey, if I spend this 2000 right now, I sell this crypto, spend this 2000, I'm probably costing myself minimum 10,000, maybe $20,000. But hey, life is short and you gotta live at the same time that you're doing everything. And, the, and if I had $100,000, let's go back you know, to May, the beginning of May, May 15th, if I had $100,000 cash sitting in a bank account before this dip happened, I'll be totally honest with you folks, I would not have $100,000 in the bank anymore. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a great cushion, but there's just absolutely no way that I could have $100,000 sitting in the bank doing me no good. And uh, except for that it lets me live a little bit less stressful life, I would definitely have it deployed into the market. If I I'd probably have 90,000 of it deployed into the market and leaving myself $10,000 cushion. And probably if, if anything goes any lower, yesterday when dot was at eleven dollars and change i probably would have spent the rest of, it of whatever i had so i'd probably be sitting with a hundred percent of my money back into crypto and praying that it goes up sooner than later and if it doesn't then i'd have to start selling a little bit here and a little bit there folks once again i don't i don't recommend that you do what i do i'm a little i'm a little extreme um, I probably quit my job a little too soon. I wanted my freedom bad. I know a lot of people in crypto that have a lot more in th that I do that are still working full time. And I personally think they're crazy, but maybe their freedom isn't as important to them as it is to me. They don't mind still going to work and having that boss. So you got to decide what's good for you guys. You got to decide what kind of risk threshold you can handle and what you're willing to endure to have the the rewards you know i'm looking at over the next couple of years as this goes back up i believe that it's going to turn into not only will it turn into probably several million but it'll probably turn into five or ten or twenty million in my crypto investment portfolio and i can really really live the rest of my life in pretty lavish style just about however i want because i'm going to be able to take that five or ten or twenty million and turn it into several hundred thousand dollars a year in passive income Anyways, folks, I just wanted to uh, to say hi, kind of give you a quick video, let you know that I was thinking about you all. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Hope you're not letting these markets mess with you too much. And I definitely look forward to, uh, you know, seeing you again. I'm going to be here in Orlando till uh, next Friday, but I'll definitely uh, get a better video set up coming. I tried to make a good video tonight for you, and I didn't have my microphone with me, and I couldn't get anything get anything really to work so this is just being recorded on my phone hopefully in the next couple of days i'll be able to put out a better video and get that bitcoin uh, drawing giveaway done going to give four people 25 dollars in bitcoin i figured out the random number generator and how to do that but i gotta have my laptop up right now i'm just recording on my phone so hopefully we'll get that all situated and i can do a better video in a couple of days and i've also got a couple of tokens that i really think are moving and shaking and getting ready to do some big things and i'd like to do a deeper dive on a couple of tokens once again that walt swap is one that's going to come up w-a-u-l-t-x and then it has a second coin called wex w-e-x and then a third token called Wex Poly, W-E-X-P-O-L-Y. Folks, definitely go do your research. Dive in on those. Um, I've got big holdings in those, and I'm expecting big things from that token. And I'm still real excited about the LMT, the Lympho Market token. And so with that, folks, I shut up. I love you guys. God bless you. Have a great night, and we will see you again soon. Take care.